want to squat but only have access to dumbbells, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, guys, here we are. Ways to grow legs with dumbbells. Now, if you're confined to a gym that's super busy and all the squat racks are taken, or home workouts or an apartment workout, or you're stuck in a hotel or Airbnb and you only have a condo gym, here's how we can still get after legs. Or if you just want something cool, new to add to your next leg routine, these two versions of dumbbell squat are gonna be what I recommend. Option one, the goblet squat. So if you look here, I prefer to use these prime ramps. If you don't have prime ramps, it's literally not a big deal. You can just put 10 pound or five pound plates on your heels, doesn't matter. But what I want this to be is quad focused. So what that's gonna do is when I step up on these ramps here, it's gonna put me in an optimal position to drive my knees over my toes and sit down in the hole as opposed to sit back. So remember, for quad, instead of sit back, it's sit down. So look at that. From the side, look where my knees are in relation to my toes. It's over them. You see how upright my torso is also? and how I'm not here, like pushing my hips back. I can't even really get into that position off these ramps. Or I'm not hunched over here, tight upper back. Now drive up, boom, squat down. Here, get good and deep. Bam. Bam. All right, so that's option one, the goblet squat. Now, if you follow this channel or you follow my Instagram, you know I'm not a big fan of front squatting in general. The goblet squat is just a fancy version of a front squat, right, because you're front loaded. Now. If I was gonna do dumbbell squats, this is what I would do. I'd hold two dumbbells in my hands, and then I would literally do the same exercise, but just leave these bad boys to my side. And just like that, bam, bam, just like that. Look at that form. Chest still tall, sit down, knees over toes, up, the dumbbell squat, just like that. So what I love about this exercise is it really gives me freedom of my hands, right? I'm not bound with a straight bar really condensing my shoulders and elbows, right? Because I know what y'all say. Chris, all I have is a straight bar. All I have is a Smith machine, okay? I get it. I know that not everyone has access to a yoke bar or a spider bar like I do. We're very, very fortunate and elite to have tons of bars that aren't gonna make my shoulders feel like absolute garbage. So if this is a situation you have to deal with, just simply do this dumbbell squat with a hill wedge. They feel incredible. They, if you can watch that form there, all you have to do is mirror it, right? Chest tall, knees over toes, flat back. You do that, your quads are getting absolutely smashed. I promise you. Now, sets, reps, we're to place in the workout. Now, I like this towards the end of the workout, so that way you aren't holding a ton of load in your hands. So let's say we were gonna do a goblet squat fresh. I'd probably need 150 to 200 pound dumbbell to really fully hammer my quads, right? Which then it comes, becomes cumbersome, getting it up into place, holding it there, sustaining it, keeping perfect posture. If I was gonna do two dumbbells in my hands, I've done those as many as 80 in each hand, which again, is great, feels good, but getting on the pull those ramps, everything settled in, I just prefer to do it towards the end of my workout when my quads are already super fatigued. Now, a little bonus of this, right? I love hammering leg extensions for sets of 20, immediately coming over to these ramps, and doing as many reps as we can in the 10 to 20 range with dumbbell squats. Man, I'm telling you what, you're looking for a serious quad pump and a way to finish your legs off before going home. This is it, three rounds of that madness. Take two minute rest, repeat, two minute rest, repeat. That's what I love. Now, if I was gonna do this standalone, like, I probably wouldn't do this top set and back off. I would probably do this with a moderate load and do rest pulse style. So pick a weight I'm gonna fail around 20-ish with, rest to a 20 count, Failure, rest of 20 count, failure. I'm telling you, do that. And then on your last rep, sit in the hole. Let me show you that. This is my last rep here, oh, right there. Now, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna hold this and just stretch that VMO for as long as I can take it. Now, let's say that I'm at 12 seconds and I'm like, I can't sit in this one more time. Drop the dumbbells, still feel that stretch. Feel, feel, I'll just feel that lengthening of my VMO. And I'm just sitting here, still good posture for as long as I can take it before I eventually collapse to the ground. <laughs> That's how I would structure that dumbbell squat. It might take you some practice. This is pretty easy in my opinion. Like there's not a big learning curve on it. It's just a matter of finding the right weight for you. But if you look at that range of motion, I need you to mirror it, the tempo, all that. And then it's just a matter of just crushing reps. So if you want better quads, do this, do this superset of leg extensions and dumbbell squats. And I promise you, your legs will be pumped. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Christmas TV.